On October 13th and 2021, with the participation of the President of the Republic of Tajikistan, Emmanuel Rahmon, and the President of France, Emmanuel Macron, for the first time in the National Museum of Asian Crafts, Guillemette, in the city of Paris, was held an exhibition of historical painting of Tajikistan with name Tajikistan, the Land of Golden Rivers. For three months, art lovers were represented with a rich history and civilization, historical monuments, ancient cultural and handicraft heritage, the unique art of our people, and the achievement of independence. During this period, in order in order to provide a rich and ancient history and civilization as well as the unique art of the Tajik people, about 300 monuments of antiquity and natural beauty of our flourishing land were presented in the Gumat National Museum of Asian Arts. The exhibition also presented valuable relics of the history of the ancestors of the Tajik people from the British Museum known as the Treasure of the Amudarya. In one part of the exhibition were presented paintings and videos about the historical and tourist sites of Tajikistan and the unique historical and cultural heritage of our ancient اعیای ارزش های ملی و حفظ و ترغیب یادگاری های تاریخی و فرهنگی the revival of national values, the protection and popularization of historical and cultural monuments are very important for raising the spirit of patriotism and self-awareness of the people, especially among adolescents and young people. In October this year, for the first time in the European region, in a French Gimat Museum was held an exhibition of frescoes from Tajikistan titled Tajikistan, the country of golden rivers. For three months, residents of European countries will be presented with the rich history and culture of the glorious Tajik nation, the historical places of our country in different centuries, the ancient cultural and handicraft heritage and the unique art of the Tajik people. Our glorious people are civilized and occupy a worse place in a common history of mankind. The examples presented at the exhibition allowed the peoples of Europe to enrich their spiritual world, seeing the valuable heritage of different historical periods of Tajik people and today's independent Tajikistan, which lays the foundation for the development of cooperation in various fields. The peculiarity of the exhibition is that the artifacts on display have been found today on the territory of the Republic of Tajikistan. After the Republic gained independence, culture as a key factor in a spiritual and moral education of society and representative of history was under the direct attention of the government of the country. Welcome to Paris, dear President Emmanuel Rahmon. I'm glad that today I visited with you the exhibition of historical painting of Tajikistan, Tajikistan, the land of golden rivers, which was held at the National Museum of Asian Crafts, Gumat. This exhibition is the result of many years of painstaking work of Tajik and French archaeologists. Our countries this year celebrate the 30th anniversary of diplomatic relations, which are primarily aimed at joint economic and cultural development. These times, especially in conditions when the clash of civilization and various cultural values are intensifying in depth study of history and the promotion of a rich historical and cultural heritage, is one of the ways to foster tolerance. Indeed, the ancient history of the Tajik people and the rich material and spiritual heritage of our ancestors, including historical monuments, is the greatest school of self knowledge for every member of society, especially for adolescents and youth. From ancient times to the present day, our people respect the national traditions and values of their ancestors constantly strives to revive and enrich them, to spread their ancient customs and holidays among population. The history of UNESCO and Tajikistan is closely linked in the direction of intangible cultural heritage. It also includes a history of human heritage. All these ancient cultures are associated with the eating of the ancient civilization and the city of Sarazm. Sarazm is an extremely priceless ancient city not only for the Tajik people but for the whole world. It was in this city that the first cities that arose 5,500 years ago in the territory of Central Asia were explored and found. It should be noted that the cultural ties of Tajikistan with France along with other areas of cooperation are based on international standards and the recognition of mutual interest and are constantly developing. The exhibition at the National Museum of Asian Arts in Gimat is also part of the strengthening of cultural cooperation between the two countries which further enhance cooperation. According to the information, every month 12 13,000 people from France and other European countries visit the exhibition of historical painting Tajikistan, the country of golden rivers. Everyone who visited the exhibition was convinced that our republic is attractive for tourism along with its rich historical and cultural heritage and natural resources as well as the real potential for attracting a large number of foreign tourists. 
I would like to acquaint you with one of the corners of the museum. This artifact has 5,500 years of origin where it was found in ancient Sarazm. I am Valery Zaleski, the keeper of the Chinese and Asian collection at the Asian Craft Museum in Gimat. My main goal in my work is the selection and documentation of historical items and the development and storage as well as the chronology of authors' articles, the distribution of text, bibliography, geographical maps, scientific and practical concept of catalogization and much more. The most important work in accordance with the concept of the catalog is the design of the exhibition scenography. We carried out work in this direction with joint leading experts in this field. Through the exhibition we were able to show the flavor of the ancient culture and civilization of the Tajik people. This flavor is unmistakably embodied in ancient Sarazm which has a rich and ancient culture. I'm very glad that I got acquainted with the exhibition of Tajik culture. Tajik culture is very rich and unique. It opened up many opportunities for me to learn about ancient artifacts. I was most interested in the ancient culture of the Tajik people. You can't believe it, here are presented unique collections of historical finds. Having familiarized yourself with each of them, you find yourself in an era in which the ancient culture developed. This museum is my favorite. On the other hand, I'm an retirement age and have a lot of free time to visit these kind museums. I came to the museum with my friend who advised me to get acquainted with the unique exhibits of ancient culture of Tajikistan. To be honest, I was not that knowledgeable about this region. After getting acquainted with the culture and the ancient era of Tajikistan, I was delighted. I'm very happy that I visited the exhibition and received many emotions. Today I'm very glad that I visited the exhibition Tajikistan, the land of golden rivers. Indeed, excellent artifacts of antiquity were collected here. I myself am a native of China but have been living in Paris for 30 years. I'm knowledgeable about the ancient culture of the Chinese people and Central Asia, but I was most interested in the Asian culture for our close and friendly neighbor Tajikistan. The exhibition gave tremendous results in a study and latency of antiquity. Antiquity. China, Tajikistan and France are holding a joint bond on the common silk road and I hope these friendly relations will continue to develop. Thank you so much for organizing this kind of exhibition. Hello, I'm Joel Duperrier, I'm from England. The exhibition is simply unique in any format. It is organized and carried out with great skill. I would like to know that for those who are familiar with the work of Peter Frank Copen, in which examples of the development of the Silk Road are given, all these artifacts play an indisputable role in the representation of the most ancient culture. There are various dynasties, languages, cultures and customs here. Each exhibit is fraught with the secret of antiquity, beauty, and the uniqueness of creation. I'm insanely glad that I was here and advised lovers of ancient art to visit it. For eight years now, an exhibition of unique antiquities of the Tajik people has been organized and held in this museum. During three months, the exhibition was visited by many lovers of ancient art. Through this kind of exhibition, the French people could and will be able to get acquainted with antiquities and discover new research in the future. Tajikistan has the best opportunities for the development of tourism in Central Asia and according to the analysis of the UN World Tourism Organization, is one of the most attractive countries for tourists. At the exhibition, the peoples of Europe got acquainted with the national architecture, traditions, world-famous history and civilization of Tajik people, mesmerizing nature, huge water resources, tourist opportunities, high mountains and the achievement of independence. All this proves that the Tajik people have an ancient history and the civilized heritage of Tajik people is instructive. In this regard, after the Republic gained independence, the government of the country is constantly taking concrete measures to achieve greater success and present this historical treasure to the world. It should be noted that the Gumat Museum of Asian Crafts was founded at the end of the 19th century by the industrialist Emile Gumat. The museum was first opened in 1879 in Lyon and then moved to Paris. The museum has one of the largest exhibits of Asia. On January 8 this year was held the closing ceremony of the exhibition of historical artifacts of Tajikistan, Tajikistan the country of golden rivers. The ceremony was attended by politicians and representatives of French ministries and departments, in particular the Minister of Europe and 
and Foreign Affairs and the Minister of Culture of our Republic, scientists, historians, artisans, researchers and French media. The event was chaired by Emomali Nasreddin Zoda, assistant to the President of the Republic of Tajikistan for Social Development and Public Relations and Sophie Macario, director of the National Museum of Asian Crafts Gumat in Paris. At the same time, the keeper of the collections of China and Central Asia of Gumat, Valery Zaleski, introduced the audience to the main content of the exhibition of historic and art of Tajikistan. It was noted that the inhabitants of France and other European countries had the opportunity to get acquainted with the historical finds of ancient Sarazm, Tahtisangin, paintings of the walls of ancient Penjikant, the world-famous monument of Ajinatepa, Kafarnihon Castle, Holbuk, and rare artifacts of gold and silver. Our country declares the expansion of cultural and humanitarian ties as one of the priorities of its foreign policy and expands active and fruitful cultural and humanitarian cooperation with the countries of the world, including the French Republic. At the end of the event, by decrees of the President of the Republic of Tajikistan, respected Emomul Rahmon, in honor of the 30th anniversary of independence of the Republic of Tajikistan and for their valuable contribution to the development of cultural ties between Tajikistan and France, Sophie Makario and Valery Zaleski were awarded the Order of the Friendship. <laughs> The closing ceremony of the exhibition of historical artifacts of Tajikistan, Tajikistan, the country of golden rivers, was held at a high level. For me personally and my colleague Valery Zaleski, this event gave a tremendous impetus to opening up new opportunities for getting to know everyone with the unpredictable history of ancient Tajikistan. With the direct support of the respected Emomul Rahman, we were awarded by the Order of the Friendship. Taking this opportunity, I would like to express my gratitude to the government of Tajikistan and wish happy happiness and prosperity to the glorious Tajik people. This moment for me personally is the most exciting and unforgettable moment in my life. I became the owner of the highest title of Tajikistan, the Order of Friendship. Many thanks to the government of Tajikistan for appreciating my merits and giving me the opportunity to become the owner of the order. The exhibition united our countries and peoples even more. I hope that in the future our cooperation in the cultural hearts will continue and will make a huge contribution to the development of art. The exhibition and number of social and cultural events held at the European Cultural Center in Paris is a big and timeless step in an era of globalization. Because people who have attended these events consider our region a hospitable country, a country of juicy fruits, fresh air, beautiful landscapes, high mountains, huge glaciers, healing water, lakes and springs, fresh water and unique folk traditions that can cue tourists and guests who are interested in studying the culture of Tajiks and see the paradise lands of the Tajik people.